And this morning, the Senate is scheduled to vote on a bill that would stave off a government shutdown. The Republican-backed measure would fund the government for another two weeks, cutting $4 billion in spending. The House passed the bill yesterday with more than 100 Democrats supporting it. The Senate is expected to follow suit. Congress still must agree on spending levels to the end of the fiscal year, which is September 30th. Meanwhile, state budget battles continue as well. In Wisconsin, Ohio, and elsewhere, deep spending cuts are coupled with proposals to limit union rights. A Senate committee in Ohio is scheduled to vote today, and CBS News correspondent Cynthia Bowers has more from Madison, Wisconsin. Cindy, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. You know, here, the governor, Scott Walker, is one of the newest governors nationally and already one of the best known. Despite two and a half weeks of intense protest over his first budget, he gamely introduced another one yesterday, even as protesters chanted inside and outside his capital. Undaunted, Governor Scott Walker Tuesday revealed a two-year budget that cuts $4 billion in spending. We are returning to frugality and making the long-term decisions to balance our budget now and, more importantly, into the future. Medicine! Just outside the State House, demonstrators continue protesting his previous budget proposal, the one that would effectively strip collective bargaining rights from Wisconsin's powerful public employee unions. For him to use dedicated public servants who clear our roads, take care of our sick, teach our kids, uh, as poker chips is ridiculous. John Erpenbach is one of 14 minority Democratic senators who ran to Illinois two weeks ago to avoid a losing vote. They become heroes to protesters, but now comes word, albeit from a Republican, some may be ready to come home and concede. If and when Wisconsin gets past its impasse, protests are underway in other states that are trying to balance budgets by curbing union power, including Rhode Island and Ohio. 8,000 protesters showed up in Columbus Tuesday ahead of a vote by the Republican-controlled legislature there to outlaw strikes by public employees. But here the gridlock continues, that is, until those Democratic senators come back to allow for a vote. Jeff? Yeah, well, let's ask about that. Cindy, any, any timetable right now, as far as you know, on when those Democratic senators might return to Wisconsin? No, but the Senate Majority Leader did indicate to us that some of them want to come home. It's just a matter of how to finesse it so they don't appear to be the bad guy in this with their constituents and the protesters. So we'll see. All right, Cindy, thanks very much in Madison, Wisconsin this morning.